Android 12 isn't quite ready to roll out on Pixel phones just yet, but already Samsung has taken the wraps off its implementation of the next version of Android. The public beta for One UI 4 is now live in the US, India, Korea and some parts of Europe, giving Galaxy S21 owners a very early look at the software that'll eventually power next year's S22. It's still very early days, but these are the top features we've found so far in the first Android 12 build for the Galaxy S21. Take a sec to subscribe so you don't miss everything we do here at Android Central, and we'll jump in. The first thing you'll notice in this build of One UI 4 is how the overall design language hasn't changed a whole lot compared to One UI 3. Whereas the Pixel phone will look completely different on Android 11 versus Android 12, Samsung is mostly sticking with what works in the Galaxy design language that's been with us since 2018. That means there's not a whole lot of influence from Material U, Google's next generation design language that will be coming to Pixel phones. In fact, there's practically nothing to be seen outside of one or two menus that still use the stock Android styling in this early build. The most noticeable change, I think, comes in the form of these new style widgets. They're rounded, of course, as all widgets now are in keeping with Android 12's design language, and represent a bit of a break from the old squared off or borderless widgets of old. In particular, I really like these new look widgets for the Samsung Calendar, which goes along with some of the other design changes we're seeing in that app. Another neat new feature in the home screen is how dark mode now interacts with it. Since One UI 3, it's automatically darkened your backgrounds in night mode, and now the same applies to icons as well, though this feature only appears to be partially functional in this current One UI beta. Samsung has introduced a pixel-style extra dim mode too, though this is presented as more of an accessibility feature. Once you've found it, it can also be activated via a quick settings shortcut. The notification panel has also been redesigned with rounded Android 12-style corners and a more information-dense layout, meaning you can read more at once without opening the app. Plus, the brightness control bar is bigger and easier to reach down at the bottom of the screen. And there are some new visual changes to charging your phone too, with a bit more colour than before to indicate how fast the phone is actually charging. The One UI lock screen has some minor tweaks, there's a new widget for the Samsung Voice Recorder app if you've got that installed, and it's now possible to change the output for music and other audio, for example switching from Bluetooth to the built-in speaker. There are a handful of new features for the always-on display as well, like the new animated stickers. There are a bunch preloaded, or you can use a GIF, sticker, or AR emoji. And usefully, it's now possible to have the always-on display fire up when you get a notification. Taking photos in the camera app now gives you a slightly cleaner layout, with easier access to individual zoom levels. And when you're shooting video, recording will actually start when you press the shutter key, not when you release it. A very minor change, but could help to avoid missing some important moments. Meanwhile, in single take mode, which captures multiple stills and videos from all the rear cameras as you move, it's now possible to add time in 5 second increments as you pan around. Once again, gives you more control and helps you avoid missing any key moments. And when it comes time to share those photos, the share sheet in One UI 4 has been updated too, allowing you to pin favourite apps to the top of the menu. There are a handful of new features in the Samsung Gallery app too. You can now create collages, highlight reels and movies directly from the gallery view, and there are updated editing options too for photos and videos, for example colour balance here, and a way to easily revert changes like this from photos and videos even after they've been saved. All of these new features of course come on top of the new stuff added to the Android platform in Android 12. Amongst a lot of other stuff, that includes new privacy controls to let you see which apps are using sensitive permissions, and on-screen indicators when an app is using the camera or microphone. Multitasking has also become a lot easier in One UI 4, with a new option to pin window controls to floating windows for easier access. Not a huge change, but definitely something that'll make a lot of sense on foldable phones when they eventually get this update. And while battery life doesn't seem to have changed significantly compared to One UI 3, what we are noticing is the redesigned device care screen, which now shows battery or security concerns right up top. Overall, device health is shown in the form of a smiley face, and of course you can still drill down and see stuff like battery consumption in more detail. And finally, one feature that doesn't seem to have been documented in the One UI beta so far is eSIM support. Some countries already had this on the Galaxy S21 on Android 11, but updating my US Unlocked S21 Ultra to the One UI 4 beta has unlocked this feature. That means you can use an eSIM instead of, or even in addition to, your physical SIM. So basically, dual SIM support in this single SIM phone if you have an eSIM option. In terms of general stability, this is a fairly buggy first beta release of One UI 4, I have noticed plenty of drop frames in places on this Galaxy S21 Ultra, especially when switching apps. 
and every app will also require you to approve it to send notifications once again the first time you start it up, which not totally clear if that's a bug or not, but it is kind of annoying. What is clear though is that everything is a bit rough around the edges at this stage, and hopefully we should expect things to get a bit more stable in future builds. So that's it for now, these are the top new features we've found in One UI 4 beta so far, but obviously this is still very early days, so keep following Android Central right here for coverage of any changes in updated One UI betas as they roll out, and of course we'll have our full review of Android 12 coming for you very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.